Thunderbird 5, Thunderbird departure, quick climb to 10,000 approved, runway on departure maintain 10,000, runway 21 right, wind 14011, clear for takeoff, change to departure. Thunderbird 5, clear takeoff, runway 21 right, Thunderbird departure, quick climb 10,000, approved, maintain 10,000, Thunderbird 5, pushing 5. Hey everyone, I am Major Nick Everling, Thunderbird 5, the lead solo pilot for the United States Air Force Air Demonstration Squadron, the Thunderbirds, and a proud 06 alum of the University of North Dakota. I'd like to take a quick moment to express my sincere thanks for this incredible award, but first, let's get this jet up in the air. Thunderbird 5 is airborne 8000 for 10000, turning direct to Mormon Mesa. Thunderbird 5, no departure, ident, and Mallet 2, maintain flight level 230. Thunderbird 5 with the flash 8 for 230. Thunderbird 5, radar contact 2 miles west of Nellis. Thunderbird 5. Contact Salt Lake Center. Well, folks, duty call. I'm currently at 28,000 feet northbound over the beautiful Utah desert, doing 510 knots on my way to Salt Lake Center, Utah. Contact Salt Lake but I'd rather be with you sitting in the auditorium in Grand Forks, North Dakota, celebrating at this awesome event. I hope you'll understand, and certainly any military veterans among you will remember well, that that commitment to military service often takes precedence over the desires of one's personal life. So please humor me tonight as I express a few words of sincere thanks from the cockpit of the Thunderbird 5 jet. As I look outside the window, I'm always in awe of the perspective that one can gain when looking down at the passing landscape from five to six miles high. Over the course of our typical Thunderbirds air show, I spend most of my time looking up at the trees, inverted from only 150 feet above the ground, or right side up experiencing over 9.3 times the normal force of Earth's gravity. Today, it's different. As I look at the ground below, passing beneath me, I consider the meaning of a goal set and a dream achieved. I love to fly. I've always been so passionate about aviation since I was very young, and I enjoy that aspect of my job now just as much as I ever have. But what really moves me is how blessed I am to share that passion with others. I view my role on this team is to inspire, especially kids, to live an exceptional life and to conquer challenges, regardless of their intent to serve in our United States military or to pursue a career in aviation. My only hope for them is to wake up every morning with just as much love for the things that they're able to do and the people that they're able to share that time with as I'm so blessed to do. So students, if you're in the audience tonight, my challenge to you is to make a choice. What type of leader will you be? See, nowadays it's not enough to simply lead a successful organization. People want to be happy. So in my opinion, the real challenge to lead is that high-performing, agile, efficient, effective, innovative organization, while at the same time honoring that undeniable connection between contentedness, happy people, and effective organizations. I first learned the value of that during my four years at UND, where I learned from my professors and my peers and the faculty and staff at the university the need to question. Number five, five, clear the visual runway one for it, Hill. The need to question, to learn, to have an open mind, to experience. And the real dream for me now is to be a small part of such an exceptional group of people that I respect and admire. Professors and staff at UND, you know that feeling well because you do that every day. 
I feel very, very privileged and humbled to accept this honor, and I do so as a reminder of how extremely grateful I am for each bit of inspiration and mentorship that I received from the exceptional community of people at UND. My friends, thank you. My only hope is to continue to honor your awesome contributions as I move forward in service, career, and life. So thank you, thank you, be well, and go Hawks.